Good morning, boys and girls. I'm going to be a little bit on the redundant side today because some of y'all saw this video earlier, but evidently some of y'all didn't. I saw a guy, recent saddle making school graduate, do this with the Cheyenne roll, or not a Cheyenne roll, I'm sorry, a pencil roll he's doing. Had one, you can't do that. that that's not going to be a sturdy, well-built pencil roll right there. As you can see, these people have done it, and, and it had so much play in it that it ripped there on a saddle that's maybe a year or two old. Of course, I can't get this low enough to show you, but you need to have a piece of leather down here so that you've got some three pieces, three skirting sizes once you get your seat laid in here. Please, please, please don't do this. I don't know where people got that from other than, ooh, it'll save me some leather. And really not that much leather because look, you, you still, it's not like you're cutting it flat and then curving it. You're, you're still cutting that shape that you've got on your cantle here. So again, I hate to be redundant because, well, nobody likes to hear the same thing over and over and over again, but don't do this kids. Uh, you need more than that half inch or five eighths inch or whatever that is right there on your uh, pencil rolls. I even do it on a cantle roll. I'll have it down here feathered down and then I'll lay it over and then I'll shape it like that but please again come on common sense davidmillssaddlery.com those are just the opinions of my my opinions <laughs> disclaimer whatever toodaloo buckaroos davidmillssaddlery.com